I don't even know how to start this video because for the past two mornings, it's been just one thing after another and I just feel like it's been so crazy. My dog will not stop whining. He knows that there are dogs outside and he just, he won't be quiet. He just won't stop. I really don't want to record this video. Like I don't want to make this video. I don't feel like bringing everything out of my kitchen cabinets, but we're gonna get it done. Because I didn't post a video last week because we were out of town, it was my son's birthday, and we just, we had a lot going on last week and weekend. So I got like, I have to get this done. Welcome back to my channel and today in all its glory. If you're new here, my name is Kendra. I post videos about my house, when it's clean, when it's not clean, decluttering, motherhood. I should be making a whole series on motherhood because my youngest for the past couple days has just been, I think he's just tired because we've had a lot going on lately and but I feel like I could just make so many videos on motherhood. But today we are decluttering my kitchen in the cabinets. It's not super cluttered on my counters at the moment, but we are diving into my cabinets, seeing the yuck and the just stuff. There's just so much stuff everywhere. And I'll give you a quick little glimpse of that, but if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. And let's go. So, while I was getting ready to create this video and getting ready to just start recording all the things, I decided I was gonna heat my coffee up that, you know, if you're a mom, gets cold 50 million times before you actually drink it. So I was gonna heat it up on the stove because it'll just stay hot like longer than if I just cook it in the microwave for a second. And I just didn't realize, well, no, I did. I knew that I set it on a higher temperature and I was helping my son get his shoes on so they could go outside and play. And it all bubbled over and got all over my stove. So it's another thing I need to add to my cleaning list. And my coffee, I don't even know what it's gonna taste like because it doesn't smell bad. So I was afraid it was gonna smell like burnt kind of because that's why it was boiling over. It was like, I don't even know. It's been a morning. So I'm gonna show you what we're diving into today. So my spice cabinet, all of these bottles in the very back are like empty, have a lot of empty bottles. Talk about that in a second. This is also where we keep like board games, puzzles, medicine. There's so many different things happening in this cabinet. So we're gonna dive into that. We have a junk drawer. We'll get to that. This is just, this drawer is probably not really gonna get gone through because this stuff just stays in here. Well. No, see like, why, are, why is this stuff back here? Scrabble pieces, it's a hot mess. I don't even know. Down here we keep stuff that really should be in our garage, like paint cans and some nails, some party supplies, just a mixture of things. <clears throat> um, this is my pots and pans in here, but it does need to be cleaned out and just gone through. There's some pans in there I need to get rid of. This is our utensil drawer. This drawer is full of like, I have mason jars and I also like keep glass jars to like reuse them, but this needs to be gone through. <clears throat> this cabinet is a slight junk cabinet. There's just things that we don't typically use often and the fish tank is in there because you know, we don't have a fish no more. Um, another small junk cabinet. I don't use plastic tupperware. This needs to go back to my Nana. And there's some cups in here that we just, like, we don't use, so. There's that. 
And then we have another slight junk drawer. This drawer, when we moved in, had some of this stuff in it. Like, I, the owner of the house, I guess, left some of the stuff. So it's just become a, uh, I don't know what you would call it. But that needs to be gone through. These drawers, this is my trash can, so this stuff doesn't really need to be gone through. Above my fridge. This is another junk cabinet. It's like what, the third or fourth one? <laughs> we usually keep party supplies or stuff that I use like Christmas time and this is stuff that I was using for the boys to play with like, like a sensory bin type of thing. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's sand. Yeah, see we keep that. It just, it's all, it just needs to be organized. I don't even know about that. This is my pantry. It everything needs to be pulled out and like reorganized. This is where I keep like my crock pot and blender, juicer, rice cooker, all of our food. It just needs to be a little more um organized. Y'all don't even want to see inside of this drawer. Paper. Yeah, there's a mix of many different things in here. And I need to go through all this and figure out what needs to be kept and what needs to be pitched. This is Buster's drawer. His stuff needs to be gone through also, but Buster has his own drawer with all of his different things in there. This drawer is this plastic bag. Don't even really know why that's in there. Looks like some stuff got spilled. There's some seeds from summertime. And there's just... It's like a gardening drawer, but you know, anyway, so we're diving in to all of these things and I might get underneath the kitchen cabinet and like this cabinet right here has my juicer stuff, my blender, some um, like beach body stuff and I'm just gonna probably just wipe that down and I'm gonna go through my dishes and I still have my Christmas decorations above my cabinets. I'm gonna take that down. And we're just gonna declutter the kitchen behind the cabinets, the stuff I don't really see. But it needs to be done because I'm trying to become as minimal as possible. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, I decided we're gonna start in this cabinet first. I don't have my tripod, like you guys know, like my good tripod it broke I really need to get another one so I'm gonna do the best that I can to get good angles of me doing this whole process it's just gonna be a bit tricky This is the spices that we use and all of the rest of the bottles in here. And these are like two rows of seasoning bottles. And these, these are all empty. So the reason why I have all these empty bottles is because when we lived in the camper and even still now, I would like for all my spices to be matching and um, I was wanting, like, I wish we had bulk stores around here that sold, like, spices and stuff. I know we have, um, a place downtown, it's, like, the French market, and you can go and you can, like, buy seasonings and stuff there. 
I really wanted them to be um, organic and I don't know if those seasonings are. I've not been in there in like a really long time so I just need to go check. But I wanted them all to be matching but we just didn't ever do it so now I just need to decide should I. Like I hate to throw them away and just keep buying new glass bottles. Like I would rather just have some and then just buy in bulk enough to like refill them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Also, this one, like this bottle, let me see if it'll focus. There it goes. I got this one from Whole Foods. And if anyone knows me, they know that Whole Foods is like my favorite store. And I just really like the way the picture looks like I know that's so silly but it's just really pretty to me and I don't know I think that's why I kept this jar honestly all right I took all the spices out these are all of my empty jars and I've come to a decision when I was thinking like honestly I need to just get rid of these maybe I can like clean them out give them to like the the goodwill maybe people will like i could take all these stickers off and people might actually want i don't know if they would sell that stuff but they might um so because honestly i don't i don't need to hang on to it because i am kind of the person that's like well just in case i might need them and I do want to do that eventually, but like honestly, when am I actually going to do it? Probably going to be a long time before I actually do it, or a little while. So for now, I think I'm going to part ways with them. So, see, making decisions, getting rid of things. That way, then all of my spices are going to have enough space on my little spice rack to all fit because those empty jars were taking up a lot of space and it's not going to be so cluttered in here. I don't know if anybody saw, but that is so annoying. I just cleaned this cabinet, got it all, and then I spilled the stupid salt. We don't even use the salt. I don't use the salt. I don't know why I have it. Sometimes I'll keep just a thing of this around my house because for like holiday reasons or like if my parents come over because my dad is, you know, convinced that I don't use real salt. And because we use the pink Himalayan salt and not that salt. So sometimes I hold on to it and that one was open and I spilled salt all over. So I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner, suck it up.
Okay, so a lot of this stuff I'm not actually getting rid of. There might be a few things that I can throw away and a few things I can get rid of, but a lot of, like this cabinet is just our little like DIY cabinet. And just some of the stuff should probably go in the garage, but like it's no big deal for it to go in here. So I'm gonna just organize it in there a little better than it was. Like I said, I like to collect glass bottles, but my son gets a little carried away and he literally will keep every single one. So there's quite a few of these that I'm gonna get rid of. These are just my baking dishes and I wanna organize those better up there and put my glass jars in there. I just like to use them for like, if I, um, I really like these Smucker's Natural Creamy Peanut Butter Jars because it's a wide mouth jar and it's a decent size. And then I'll just take all the paper off of them so they'll be this clear jar and I like to use them to store um, like fruit. Whenever I get them from the store, I'll wash them, I'll put them in here. They stay better longer in jars. Or when we make our vegan cheese sauce, it usually fills up a couple of these jars and so they're just good to have to store things in. We also use them for like pencils and our toothbrushes and holding uh, cleaning things by the sink, like little uh, straw cleaners and stuff like that. So I'm gonna separate which ones I wanna keep and which ones I wanna get rid of. Like I kept this one, it was a taco sauce one because I just thought it was pretty and it would be <clears throat> cute to put like flowers in, it's like a little vase or something. So I might still keep this one, I don't know. I thought these jars were nice and pretty, but like I don't think I'm gonna use these for anything. I don't know, I always, see I start questioning myself after I say I'm not probably. After I say I won't use them for anything, I'm like thinking in my head of like, these different things that I could use them for. Like, this jar, don't really like, I've never used it, but then I'm thinking, oh, if I made fresh juice, like I could put it in here, that's what was in here originally whenever I bought it was some juice. So it just made like a cute little juice jar to put in your fridge, so. I don't know, I might keep this one. Actually, I have two, might keep both. I like these little short jars. They're a wide mouth short jar because I can, I like to put like crayons and stuff in here for like the boys sometimes or like if they're painting so it's not a tall jar, but some of these pasta jars, like this one, I might get rid of. But if you ever buy, <clears throat> this is from Aldi, and if you ever buy the organic pasta sauce there, if you look on the inside, it's actually kind of like a measuring cup because it has um, one pint, looks like a three-fourths of a cup and maybe like a half a cup measuring things on there. So if you ever need a measuring cup, you can use these.
right, I'm in my tall cabinet. This is usually the top shelf is just usually where we keep like serving trays or some things that um, we use for like holiday time. Didn't even know this plastic bowl was in there. This is a place that I can't reach without standing on a stool. Like I'm standing on a high bar stool and I'm probably just about as tall as this cabinet. Like this is my eye, eye level. This cabinet is our most used cabinet because this one and the second shelf because I kind of reach this one. And this one is the one I can reach the best. Sometimes I don't know why I keep things. Like I kept this. And the little, and this little scoop that's in there. I think that came out of my Shakeology stuff, but like, I don't really know why I kept that. Have this bottle, probably just really liked the shape of it, and was like, oh, I might put stuff in that. Yeah, well, guess what? Never did. This is all the stuff that came out of my cabinets. I really don't have a ton of things like in my cabinets, but there's just stuff that I don't typically use. And these are more of like my serving dishes for like holidays or if we're having company over. If you haven't figured out, wood, white, and clear, those are just like my type of dishes, except for, I have a very colorful palette of plates. I have more of these in like red, blue, green, purple, and then we have these different colored plates, but I really need to downsize on some of my plates. But I do like clear, white, and wooden dishes. I think eventually I might want to just get some white dishes, but anyway, getting distracted. So I'm going to clean these cabinets out, put everything back in there. Well, minus some things I don't want. I think I've just decided that I'm going to use this little cabinet that I'm cleaning out right now and I'm going to put my toaster and my can opener, put my waffle maker in there. It's going to be like my little appliance cabinet. Maybe my blender will go in there too. Well, I have room in my big pantry for that, but I don't know. I'm just going to stick them all in one cabinet. That way they're all in the same. This is our old juicer that I forgot that we even had. I have this little avocado. You're supposed to like make guacamole, put it in here, and that way you can put this on top of it, like for parties and stuff. And it had a brown spoon that came with it, but the brown spoon broke. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna give this away because I got it at Aldi, I think for like $4. Never gonna use it, so. Have an old coffee pot. We put this one, um, we got a new one because the bottom was rusting out of this one. So someone tell me why, why am I keeping this if the bottom's all rusty and I didn't want it anymore? And like, why am I keeping this? Please tell me like some of the most ridiculous things that you've held on to and later on was like, why did I do that? Tell me that in the comments because I just don't know why I'm holding on to this. I really don't. So we're going to get rid of this. This is my little fox cookie jar that my sister got for me um, one year. And it actually, I have a, I have like a matching plate and a little cup that also matches it. But she bought these for me. This one has definitely been used. <laughs> it's got chips all over the place. But um, I bring this out for Christmas time so it just stays in my cabinet. Um, 
and then we just use this all the time and I use this all the time because I like foxes and so she got that for me for Christmas one year. This stuff I'm getting rid of, these are my grandma's, I need to give those back to her. Maybe she'll want that too because I don't like plastic tubbeware stuff. I don't like it. I like glass. I got rid of all of our plastic tubbeware not too long ago and just got these glass bowls that come with lids. And I have some up there and I have more but they're not clean I guess. So don't do plastic. Just don't like it. So. So we have this Amazon box as our birthday decoration. It literally holds everything birthday things in here. I don't know why it's a cardboard box and not like a plastic tub. I should get a plastic tub instead. But this is what we have, this is what we use. So like I still have like some tablecloths and stuff. And like this, I'm gonna hold on to it because it's actually a really good um, tablecloth and Kai likes to uh, repeat his birthday sometimes. So we're gonna hang on to that. And I'll just keep like, I'll keep candles if we have any streamer. Like sometimes I still have streamer that's not been opened. Um, I have like a happy birthday banner and we'll just keep decorations in here. So this is probably what's gonna happen because I mean, I'm already like, feeling tired it's already two o'clock so I'm probably gonna go through this paper drawer and then I think I'm gonna be done I know those two junk drawers really need to be gone through but at the moment I don't really know what to do with all of that stuff and I'll probably have Ben help me go through them because he'll know more of like where we should put stuff um so yeah so we're gonna just do this horrid paper drawer real quick and then I'll be done. I've gotten everything decluttered and put in piles of things that I am and I'm not getting rid of. I've got two bags of things that are going to the Goodwill. And I mean, my kitchen is kind of messy because I need to clean it now that I've done all that decluttering and there's still some stuff that I need to like put in a bag for Goodwill. But other than that, I've gotten everything decluttered that I wanted except for the two junk drawers that um, Ben is going to have to help me with. So, hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully it inspires you to declutter your kitchen to get rid of things that you probably forgot was there, things that you don't use regularly, that you haven't used in a couple years. <clears throat> and. Don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it supports my channel and hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time.